They don't, they don't care. They know I have friends. It makes them happy. First of all, I think it's safe to say I could take my seatbelt off. Yeah. Jesus, I'm like. Safety first. I'm a safety girl. You know what movie that is? I'm a safety girl. I know. Pretty woman. Oh. When she pulls out all the condoms and he's like. Oh, yeah. She's like, I'm a safety girl. I have 40 layers on, including my soccer mom shirt. So. It's not that cold. It's just. No, I know, but I'm always cold. Yeah. Are we starting at 8? I guess. That other team looks big. Oh, my God. That one girl on their team is as big as the coach. Maybe she is another coach. No, no. she's in uniform. See her? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. I am... am, am I don't know why I'm yelling. <laughs> I... Guys! <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, from Memphis. Cold and rainy Memphis. Okay, guys? You Memphis people could have warmed it up for me um we are here for a soccer tournament and uh i don't have a lot of time because the game's gonna start and i'm with jen she can't be late for anything so. <laughs> gotta be on time um so we were talking on the way here about jen's need to say yes to everything and what that feels like and it's so funny when you're on the outside looking in at somebody like Jen and her life, you think it must be all very easy for her. She makes it look very easy. She does everything and she keeps a beautiful home and her children are always like perfect. And she is the soccer mom and the this mom and the that mom. And like I, she I'm so that's so foreign to me because I have built a career where. I really can't say yes to a lot of things in my mom life. I say yes to the things that I can and I definitely stretch myself. I try to be there like I'm at all the soccer games and things like that. But I, I can't ever really be the room mom or the soccer mom because I, my job requires me to travel so much. So I am always so thankful for moms like Jen because they step in and mom is calling while we're... Text Gabby's mom and see what she needs. Oh. Um, so I feel like when there's moms like Jen in the class or on the field or whatever, it's I'm very lucky because then I know my child, my ch my ch my childrens are very well taken care of. Anyway, she made a comment that was very surprising to me about how hard it is to be the person who always says yes because. Um, she feels guilty saying no. See, that's what we don't see. When we see moms doing it all and they're the team mom and the class mom and the perfect wife and the perfect this and they always have the best Christmas card and throw the best parties and do all these things, we think like, oh, that's all so fun. They must just love what they do all the time. But clearly it's fracturing because it begins to... One yes begets another yes, and before you know it, you're agreeing to do everything. And she said something that was so eye-opening for me when she said, but my family suffers because I overcommit all the time. That's something you don't think about. When you say yes to everything, you are essentially committing yourself to time away from whatever time your family may need. And then you feel guilty saying no. You feel guilty backtracking. And if you say yes to one person... How can you not say yes to another person, right? So suddenly you're saying yes to everybody. It's one big yes fest. And then people, you become the dependable, always there person. So everybody's constantly hitting you up. Can you give so-and-so a ride? Can you drive so-and-so home? Can you step in for me to do this? Can you step in for me to do that? And before you know it, you're, hi, Tim. Before you know it, you are losing your train of thought. Um, you're totally overcommitted and then you are bogged down by guilt. Um, today is national adoption day. It is. And I know a lot of people are in the process right now of adopting. So I'm sending good thoughts and prayers to everybody who is waiting to hear, uh, from a birth mom and also to anybody who's considering adoption, giving their child up for adoption is one of the greatest gifts you can give another woman so shout out to you people um 
I think it's so question how do you ever find time for yourself if you're saying yes to everybody uh, that's a good question but I did realize in you just saying it that because I chose to be a full time mom I mean I, I have a graduate degree I thought I would work I think I say yes to fill that hole so you don't feel so, guilty yes Okay, yeah, that's another so. excellent point. I just so she has that. a graduate degree, but she chose to stay home. That was her choice. So she says yes to everything so she doesn't feel guilty just being the mom who stays home. And a lot of women do that. They make the choice to stay home and raise their children, but then they feel guilty because they're not out working. So they overcommit. So they always look busy. Like, look, you can't really judge me for staying home because look at how many responsibilities I've taken on. They almost work longer and harder and more than people who work because they take everything on. So if you are Jen, of course they all want to see you because they're dying no to way, know who's man. in the car. Um, if you are a Jen in your own life, okay, we have to go because they're starting the game. But I'm going to leave this in the car. Can you lock the door? Yes. What did Susan say? She needed, she wanted to give you her umbrella and chair. Oh, crap. Okay, if you are the Jen in your life, practice saying no. Stop feeling guilty and stop saying, stop over committing. Just, just make a, make a resolution to say no once a month. Once a month to something. Just say, I would really love to help you with this, but um, I've committed, right now I've committed to everything I can commit till the end of the year. Please revisit this with me in January. Um, all right, I got to go. I love you. Um, you said you were breaking up with Michael, but were you just offended by being asked where your ring was? My ring is... What, what is the obsession with my marriage? It is so bizarre to me. Guys, it's bizarre. Honestly. I could be talking about, like, the planets... And like saving animals and someone inevitably will be like, did you lock it? Someone inevitably will be like, uh, where's your ring? My ring doesn't mean shit. I never wear my ring. Almost never. If that's going to be a measurement for you on whether me and Michael are still together, then we're not because I never wear my ring. Um, all right. I love you guys very much. Have a great, great day. Wait, hold on. I want you to see the